Hello, everybody! My name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Persona 5 Tactica. Last time, we went through the rest of the quest... Quest... quest yes, quest, not missions. For a split second, I said it and then second-guessed myself. But we went through uh, quest 8 and quest 9, the last two quests in the Second Kingdom. In The Rightful Prince... Basically, can I go back and like see the details? Morgana gallantly proclaims he will protect On from the Eisen Squad, but will he? Basically, we went back to some of the Eisen Squad outposts to like finish clearing them out, and the whole time Morgana was like, I'll protect you, Lady On, and then On ended up protecting herself and Morgana at the same time. <laughs> uh, hence the video being called Lady On the Chivalrous. <laughs> but, anyways, other than that, not what I wanted to do. Uh, we did number nine. Arena lost the roll of bandages that she had when she got shot, which has apparently become a sort of lucky charm for her to make sure she remembers how lucky she is and to sort of keep herself in check a little bit more from now on so she avoids getting hurt again. So basically we had to run around town looking for it, helping to beat up some people so we could properly look. And for doing that, we got a new persona called Decarabia, which I think we immediately used to fuse with something else to get, uh, Harita, not Isis. Uh, we got level 37 Harita, who has a really good healing skill, uh, healing ability and a passive ability to make, uh, skills more cheaper. So we used the Decarabia we got to make this, and this went to uh, Makoto, because she didn't really have a persona she was properly using anyways. Anzu was just there for a couple levels. But I think that's about what we got up to last time. There wasn't much else going on. I think we did this talking thing too. Basically trying to figure out why Yoshiki was all about love in this world, and how all of his mistreating of... Toshiro was about how this is, I love you, I do all this because I love you, and yada yada, all that stuff. Abuser, abuse, abusing love bombing, basically. But, uh, yeah, that's about what happened last time. So, today, we might be going, we're probably on our way to Yoshiki. There's not much else to do. There's just this last mission story thing. And then it's probably go time, so let's just hop into it, shall we? This will progress the story, is this okay? Yes. Alrighty, give us the rundown, Toshiro! Essentially, we'll be using the same strategy as when we invaded Marie's castle. Okay, so we're having the citizens we freed go to the gates and try to create a diversion so we can uh, take the back door and go take him down we'll attract the enemy's attention with a diversion in town then sneak in while they're distracted okay after that we take out yoshiki inside the castle not a problem uh i doubt this will go so uh smoothly two times in a row somehow so the people we freed they'll carry out the diversion in town is that right Right. With Yuki's help, I was able to get everything ready on that end. All that's left is for me to give the word, and we'll commence the operation. Does it have a bad name yet? We're missing that important part. But wait, how are we going to sneak in? The castle is surrounded by a moat. Swim through it. Jump over it. We'll lay a bridge. Eh, we'll just swim through it. It's fine. Uh, swim through it? Nonsense. The swimsuit in this Edo scenery would be blasphemous. I, for one, think the loincloth is the only way. Oh, you, Sky. Nuts. <laughs> really. You can wear one by yourself then, buddy. Unfortunately, in the time it'd take us to scale the stone wall after, we'd be all but wiped out. Actually, there's a secret passage that leads into the castle. Okay, then. 
Isn't that right, Yuki-san? Oh yeah, she knows the layout of the castle. She was inside. Yes. As Toshiro-san surmised, there's a path that goes from the town into the castle. Yoshiki may be able to fly, but his minions are another story. There's no way a guy who builds a moat wouldn't have some way to transport his bodyguards in and out with him. You've really thought this through, Toshiro. You, he has gotten to be a very good strategist. Remember when we first met him and he was cowering in a corner, literally? <laughs> is it just me, or is anyone else wondering what's up with all these hidden passages and secret doors? My father excelled at exploiting loopholes in the law and common sense to benefit his political career and personal life. Yeah, he is, he is all about loopholes and backdoors, so of course he has one in place. Perhaps it's having an effect on this world because I perceive my father that way. I was aware of my father's nature, but I always averted my eyes from him. Toshiro! Be that as it may, at least you're going to settle things with him now, right? Yes, I've made all the preparations to do just that. Aha! The whole gang's here, I see! Hello, friends. What are you doing here? We thought we'd pop in to pay our respects before the operation. Everyone is already in place. We're all just waiting for the signal. It's finally time to do this, isn't it? We'll be counting on you! You got it. With your help, there's no way we'll fail. For that, I can't thank you enough. We'll be sure to deliver on our end as promised. The success of this operation hinges on your support. We will defeat Yoshiki. And we'll do it together. Let's do this! Yay! Just one more thing. I'd like to ask a favor of everyone. If you ever feel like you're in danger, I want you to run without hesitation. I don't want any of you risking your lives. Um... I mean, I love the sentiment here, but by siding with us at all, they're all risking their lives already? I, I mean, yes, we want to save everyone, but they're already risking their lives, Arena. It's kind of too late for that. Yes, ma'am! That's a promise! You all take care, too! It's almost time to start the operation. I'm counting on you, Toshiro. Me too. Oh, by the way, about the operation. <laughs> Here it is. How about Operation Smack Crackle Pop? <laughs> Smack Crackle Pop. Vetoed. Aw. Why? Your name lacks intelligence. And besides, I've already devised the perfect one. Operation Distract Him and then Go Through the Secret Tunnel? Is that what you're going to name it? That's right. We'll call it Operation Obfuscation Midnight Infiltration. <laughs> That's fair enough, I suppose. That's a lot of fancy words that literally, when you uh, translate them, it just means we're infiltrating at night while other people are distracting, basically. Lame. <laughs> what? You'll realize the beauty of it once you hear it from your own mouth. Go on, say it. Operation Obfuscation Midnight Infiltration? Oh no! Lame ass Toshiro is harassing me! <laughs> I love how the dialogue even says a fake crying. That's really what you'd consider harassment? How about a different idea then? I have 80 more iterations. I love their... I, Sheesh. <laughs> there those two go again. I love their relationship. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> well then, I will give the signal as soon as you're all ready. Once the battle begins, there will be no turning back. Please make sure you're fully prepared. We will. Thank you, Yuki. This, I feel like, is going to be another long one. I ended up recording, like, four episodes when we finished off Act 1. 
I'm assuming this is going to take a little bit, too. But I don't think I really have anything else to do. E everyone got better guns. I bought most of them and then upgraded and then fused the others. But everyone's ranged weaponry is pretty well upgraded. I could prob probably make better ones for some people. But it should be fine. I'm going to have to remember... Um, I should save Arena and Aharu for fighting... Do I want to save Haru, Makoto, and Arena for fighting the boss? Because they have the upgraded uh, weapons with the extra ailment chances. Although bosses are typically immune to those anyways, so that's probably not going to be worth it. Haru, Makoto, and Arena might be... I don't want to do this. Use up two of them in the first battle, one of them in the second, and then none of them go into the boss because their ailment abilities won't matter anyways. I'll figure it out as I go. <laughs> Typically, I just go what fits better narratively anyways. But anyways, the next thing is going to storm the castle, which means we're, we're approaching the end of... I'll call it Act 2, shall we? The Sucking Kingdom. So let's go. No turning back now. Once we go through a loading screen. From here on, time is of the essence. We should sprint to the castle. Okay, but don't push yourself so hard you get wiped out, got it? Skull walked me through a brief regimen of thorough leg stretches. My legs already feel like they're on the verge of cramping up, but it's no problem. <laughs> I exercise beforehand, so I feel like falling down, but it's okay. Sure sounds like a problem to me. By the way, for this plan to work, won't we need disguises? No disguise will be effective enough once we're inside the castle. Fair point. Furthermore, attempting haphazard costumes could hamper our mobility. That's why we're not the ones who will be disguised. Huh? Did you disguise the townsfolk as Isengard? What do you mean by that? <laughs> as the Eisen Squad, not the Isengard. <laughs> Over here! Oh crap, we're spotted! We're getting back up! Huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. This plan is amazing. <laughs> they, they got they got all the townsfolk to dress up as us and just start running around. That's awesome. <laughs> This is great. This art piece is awesome. <laughs> Most of them are hats. Everyone dressed up as Morgana is just in a Morgana costume. Everyone else is wearing stuffed things on their heads. <laughs> Best place to hide a tree is in a forest. I asked Yuki-san and the silk shop owner to prepare those outfits. But, uh, aren't the designs kind of... I had a hand in the design. They turned out rather well, if I might say so myself. I mean, the monster teeth really sells it. <laughs> Are you really that intimidating? This was no mere attempt to recreate appearances. This is the projection of the self, as seen by the other. Perhaps it will deepen your self-perception. Yes. As a matter of fact, this could very well be a new form of the self-portrait. Yusuke, I'd avoid pushing Makoto too far. I don't get what he's saying. Oh boy, Inari the Art Nuts back. 
Yeah. The way Makoto was talking a moment ago, you might want to pull back a little bit before Makoto decides to give him that face. <laughs> Why not? They're not gonna bring that up again. Well, the diversion's holding out. Looks like this was a good plan after all. Now all we have to do is sneak into Yoshiki's castle. Looks like Operation Smack Crackle Infiltrate is underway. <laughs> and she changed the name. Why would you combine those names? Okay, you can stop. Lead the way. Right, this way. Let's go. We got a castle to conquer. We made it. This is the passage. Huh? Where? It doesn't look like a passage. Are we jumping into the well? <laughs> There's a pathway at the bottom of this old well that leads into the castle. Yep. This is a big help. Thank you, Yuki. It really blends into such an ordinary alleyway, doesn't it? We definitely couldn't have found this place without Yuki-san's guidance. Shall we get going then? The disguises will only fool them for so long. <sighs> What's the matter, Toshiro? Yuki-san, do you really intend to follow us into the castle? Past here, there's a dangerous battle awaiting us. Why don't you find somewhere safe to hide with the townspeople instead? Oh. But didn't you say we shouldn't lie to ourselves anymore? I want to do everything I can to help save everyone. And most of all, I want to witness your fight with my own eyes, Toshiro-san. Why me? <laughs> I wonder why. Okay, so Yuki... <laughs> We're getting more hints that Yuki's important to him. I kind of already suspected I that. <laughs> Please let me come with you. But if anything were to happen to you, I... Hey, don't those two look kind of... Is this what a grown-up romance looks like? I'm jealous. I don't care. Hold the phone! <laughs> no, I'm kind of jealous. Isn't it wonderful? I kind of admire it. I've heard love is about the push and the pull. Now's your chance, Toshiro. Push! Yusuke. You guys are getting way too into this. You know I can hear you, right? You've got it wrong, so cut it out already. I understand. If you're that determined, I won't stop you. However, at least promise me you won't be reckless. Please prioritize your safety. Mm -hmm. I will, thank you. Please be careful as well, Toshiro-san. Now, allow me to show you the way. Yo, Yoshiki's Castle Corridor. Booyah! Made it inside! Aunt, we're in the second palace. <laughs> We're gonna go through the door, and it's gonna. We're, we're, there's gonna be a door at the end, and it's gonna be a Mario situation where, we're like, thank you, Mario, but your princess is in another castle, and we're gonna be in another kingdom. This is where things really ramp up. The place is crawling with readings. Oh. What's wrong, Yuki-san? It's odd. The entire layout of the place has changed since I was here last. When you were here last? Foul names! You die today! Well, that didn't take long. Already caught. We know what's next. Weapons up! Let's go! Come at us! Wave one of the defenders for Yoshiki's castle. Time to take them down. Once we load, these get longer and longer. There we go. Defeat all enemies. Let's see. Optional missions. Clear within eight turns with no one getting KO'd. Um. Uh, Makoto Arena on. 
Let's run Ryuji with this group, I think. On has some on has some literal firepower that I think I'm gonna save for a moment. Uh let's run Haru instead of Arena. Ryuji, Haru, and Makoto. That should work. Let's go. Oh, that's a big enemy. <laughs> Looks like a sumo wrestler. Hmm? It appears there's a new type of enemy over there. A sumo wrestler. He happened, it looks like a strong, high-ranking one, too. This one's gonna be a pain. Although it doesn't seem like they're... Although it does seem like they're pretty slow. We should be safe while they're this far away. Hey, listen. Let's just forget about the sumo wrestler for now and wipe out the other enemies first. You got it, Futaba. Okay, so... I'm gonna follow with suggestion and start taking care of these ones first. Can I reach that one right now? I can. I don't want to do this. Uh, Haru can't really get a shot very well. Where's the next red button? It's where that thing is standing. So, my best way, I think, for getting Skull over here is going to be do this. Makoto is pushed up as far as she can get. If I do that, I think I can probably reach it. Let's do Mafrela instead, I think. That way you can hit all of them and just knock them out of cover and get more once mores. Really, it's a good thing I did that. Because now that's like that. Skull can start running up. Uh, I don't want to do this. Uh, Skull. Mazio on you? So I can at least push Skull up a little bit more. Uh, push him up to here. Um, yeah, that door will close. So have Skull triple threat. That will get rid of those two. I'm gonna have Makoto stay on this button. I just realized I'm probably gonna have an issue next turn because Haru's going to, if she reaches, just barely hit this button, which might be an issue. So Skull might be left alone on that side for one turn. But for right now, Makoto just ends there with the charge. Oh, it's, hi there, friends. Whoa, did you see that? That one just chucked their buddies at us. That's crazy. Things are gonna end, aren't gonna end well if they grab us. Oh, this is bad. Looks like the ones they got thrown are about to attack. Don't let them surround you. Launcher types. These enemies will throw any nearby unit, either friend or foe. They are incapable of being downed, and their knockback range is half that of other enemies. Okay. Launcher types may be formidable foes, but they take fatal damage if they are knocked off high ground. Capitalize on this weakness wherever possible. Okay, interesting. Okay, that thing running at me is probably pretty good. Ow. And it's just gonna keep throwing at us, got it. Can I push Haru up far enough? Okay, yes. Actually, Makoto can reach this. Skull can reach that button. Though it does leave us in an issue where I'm gonna leave an enemy behind. I Sayo on this. That will one, get it out of cover, and two, bring it into this room. 
Better get ready. Skull pushes up, hits the button. Makoto pushes forwards. Skull does this. And then I can just keep. I can just spam a few get ems with Makoto. Is that really not a. I could do that. Which would kill them both, but leave Makoto in the wrong room. What about that? Does that still do it? It does. Sadly, Makoto's the only one that can still move, so I'm gonna have to do that, probably. Unless I can kill... Yeah. That's probably worth it. Killing off uh, one of the big ones as soon as I can is uh, always decent. Oh, it's throwing stones now. The rude. How many moves does it get per turn? Jama speed on itself. And it's still... Can it throw the big ones? That's gonna be impressive. Okay, Makoto can't reach. Haru can just reach the door. Uh, I can push up Skull. If I have someone else hit the button. I don't want to do this. Um, who did I give the... I think someone got a skill uh, that lets them... How do I scroll down on this? Uh, details? No, I want it. Let me look at uh, Makoto's stats, please. How do I scroll down on this list? I don't remember. Is it hurt? Beat synergy? Phantom step, follow up. Someone got a skill that lets them knock down any enemy that they melee hit. I don't remember who it was though, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, I don't think it's Makoto. Doesn't look like it's you, and I already tried it with Ruji, so I guess there's no one in the party right now. Um, um, I already know Haru can't make it through the door. Now it's my turn. I'm ready. Makoto gets stuck right here. here I go. So these two are just stuck over here right now. I can push up Haru, however, if I have Makoto do this. So just do that. Oh, you got the hypnotized too. Just have her wait here. That will kill off both of them. And she's still in an okay position. Uh, I don't think I want Skull to start coming up here. But I could do that. <laughs> Probably not a great idea. But I could. It would be a bad idea, but I could. Oh, that's actually a lot of damage. And might as well. Aguilau. I didn't think about that. Uh. Get him. Who's in range for this right now? Ah, it's just that one. Okay, now it's both of them. Sure, this works out pretty well. Next turn, I should be able to take care of both of those two, no problem. Rude. Oh, they're actually burning too. That's pretty decent. Thank you, Futaba. 
Dianga will only kill one of them. Ara can hit the button. All right, let's do no this. Hello there, friends. Fall. It said they always take lethal damage if you knock them off a cliff. I'm just gonna shoot it in the face instead. There we go, full clear. It should be at least, that was an H, turn 8. 5470, level up on some of the personas and not on the Phantom Thieves total. Full clear, we did it in half of the time. Arahabaka, Arahabaki is the new uh, persona we just got there, cool. Stage cleared. First enemy wave down in the castle. We said we were escaping. We're going right upstairs. I certainly anticipated this, but not in these numbers. We should maintain our concealment. There's no need to fight them head on. Oracle, can you determine the layout of the castle from that camera device? I'm trying to right now, but no luck. They've blocked all access. Well, it looks like our only option is to search the old-fashioned way. Sadly, that puts us into more and more enemies, though. I'll run ahead and try to scout out a safe route for us. Sounds dangerous. Are you sure? Of course. Nobody's as good at fleeing conflict as I am. That tracks. What a sad thing to be proud of. Allow me to join you. You should have someone watching your back. So, our two non-combatants are running off on their own. This surely won't end poorly. In that case, I guess we'll just go on a little tear here. Wonderful. I appreciate the distraction. You two stay safe. Uh, and just like outside, our, our plan is now distraction in the main foyer or whatever, while other people do other stuff. What we got? Last for five turns. Defeat nine enemies with no one getting KO'd. Okay, this is just a survive mission this time. Interesting. Um. Yusuke on Morgana? Ah, this is gonna leave me in a position where mm, there is gonna be one person guaranteed who doesn't have the extra bonuses for the boss. In which case, let's save on for the boss and run Ryuji again, I suppose? Sure, why not? Actually, I think Haru has longer attack range on her weapon, so... Sure, this works. Start the battle. I think these are three of my longest range attackers, if I remember correctly. Show them the true strength of the Phantom Thieves! Mabufu! Come at me. I forgot that would freeze them. Back up a little bit to stay safe. If I were to stand here in Magaru them, will it knock all of them off the edge or just the one that says get them? Ah, it didn't knock. Oops, sorry. It didn't knock all of them down. That will kill you, which would be nice. Eh, why not? You're a pretty big stuff, so. Um. I'm just gonna be left with this one, sadly. Jump at me. Oh no, it's gonna jump up here. That was bad. That did not work as planned. I forgot it would get hypnotized. Come on, keep tossing them to us. I forgot they could climb. This is going poorly. None of this is going to plan. Here they come. Ow. How can it make that shot? That makes no sense. Hang on! Hey, 
Wow. That was awful. Like, absolutely nothing worked as expected. I guess we're not getting a full clear on this one, then. I pressed the wrong button! Do I, do I undo this turn? <laughs> it's not gonna undo this turn, sadly. That undoes the last turn. Come at me. Ryuji. Mazio, you two. That will get that will get Scala one more. Doing like so. Well, once again, get him a one more. Mazio will once again get him a one more. I could do that and get another one more. But let's just kill off those two down there. Yusuke wasted his... I wasted Yusuke's turn. That's kind of sad. Yusuke's on low health, but should survive the turn. Oh, that's really tight. Really? Rude. My limit draws near. Uh, you yourself don't have a healing thing. I think Morgana does, though, right? Uh, let me switch units, please. Yeah, Morgana has Dia. Skull has nothing. Okay. So Morgana has to heal Skull or else he's gonna die. Up, up. D on you. That does, like, very little. <laughs> but that will let him survive another turn, hopefully. Mabufu on you two. Can Skull... Skull can do that. Uh, why not? That works. And yeah, that kills them both. No idea how many of the enemies I've killed yet. It's not nine yet, obviously. Oh, really? I wasn't sure if that was going to reach or not, but of course it does. That's a problem. Ah, uh, Yusuke is going to just survive here. Oh, thank you, Futaba. That just saved my life. <laughs> this, this is a rough one. If I do this, where do you land? Right there, okay. Um, let's have Morgana do that instead. Then have Skull shotgun those two. That puts that one there. But I want to do this. Uh, I am in an awful place for a one more, sadly. How do I have no enemies in range for a one more here? <laughs> that... How is this not working? Ryuji... You, Ryuji has a one more, so why can't I, uh, all have to attack here? That's weird. Uh... Do this? 
That will give Ryuji uh, Yusuke a one more on you. Seriously, why can't I all out attack? That doesn't. <laughs> Rude game. Sure, take you down. That should hopefully be enough to keep Fox standing. Except they're all coming after Fox because they see him on low health. <laughs> this is the last turn I have to last, right? Yes. Uh, you do this, I suppose. Morgana doesn't have much in the way of, uh, like, multi-hit moves. Let's get in there! Uh... Mazio on... you? Why not? This... This is getting very tactical. I've I've never had to go this... I've never had an attempt to go this poorly before. Finish you off, just to make sure we're getting close to the Nang at least. You can go there. Like a phantom. I've never used this before. It should... How does this work? Oh, it, I, it said the thing about spawning decoy units, but I had no idea how it was actually going to work. So I choose a location and then I spawn two of those that should draw attacks instead of me. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. They only take one hit, though. Makes sense. So that wasn't a full clear. 4,700, level ups all around. I probably defeated seven or something like that. Oh well, that's the worst we've ever done on a mission, but it's fine. Oh, ooh, Anubis, Belphegor, Unicorn, Mithras. Those are some cool sounding personas we just got. Anyways, there we go. Stage cleared. Probably also we're going to be ending off this episode. <laughs>